Welcome to I Guy Movies. I'm Timothy Guy. I'm Stephanie Holland. Now we've got an interesting week. We've got one brand new release and yeah. two sort of Oscar movies that are expanding into the yeah, inland area. It's January, so we're sort of hitting the the doldrums of movies right now. Let's let's get. I know you're probably <laughs> going to go take a walk or something while I talk about this. I'll do it quickly. <laughs> yeah, Texas I'm Chain just going to be over here. Texas Chainsaw 3D. Now this is probably the 200th Texas Chainsaw. I think I it's 200. I think it might be 250. Okay, well, I'm always forgetting. So you can see a leather face <laughs> there with this chainsaw. Uh, we need a flow chart to describe this, but I'll do my best. This is a sequel to the, ori the very, very first original one. Yeah. It ignores all of the other direct sequels to the first one. So the Matthew McConaughey one, the Dennis Hopper one. All gone. Mm -hmm. It also ignores the Michael Bay ones that were made in 2003 and 2006, I think the years were. So this is, we're ignoring everything, all the other 249s. Right, but that. here's the thing. The world needed another Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Like, was, was it really necessary? This is probably one of those things where if they didn't make a movie, the, the rights would expire. So yeah. it stars uh, Tanya Ramon from Lost. She mm -hmm. was Ben's daughter. And Trey Songs. He's a popular R&B singer. Yeah, and the budget's $8 million, so what do you expect? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's one of those things where the studio's obviously putting it out in January. They're trying to earn some quick money. They're burning it off. They, they really don't want you to see it kind of situation. Well, there hasn't been a good horror movie out in a while. Well, there hasn't been a horror movie out in a while. So. Right, right. So... This uh, one is a, I, I w might classify it under horror because it's a, a horrific experience. Yeah, it's uh, The Impossible, which stars Naomi Watts and Ewan McGregor. This is a true story about a family um, during the tsunami in 2004, I Indonesia, believe it was. Yeah. yeah. So, you can see on the screen. So um, this family was separated and then it was their you know, fight to reunite. Uh, in the midst of everything that was happening after the tsunami hit. So, like I said, it's based on a true story. Uh, they've both been getting a, a lot of Oscar buzz off of their performances in the movie. So, And so has their kid, played by Tom Holland. He's getting yeah. some... Ewan McGregor's more supporting. The kid mm -hmm. is actually the lead. best actor, yeah. so, which is surprising. Um, if you see the trailer, you've seen the whole movie, apparently. So It's one of these movies where, obviously, you kind of know what the outcome is going to be, so it's more about the journey to get to that story. So <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> Tim doesn't <laughs> like it because it involves feelings and yeah. everything. It's feelings. Just, ah. <laughs> uh, let's go to the third movie, which is, is interesting. Promise Land, which yeah. stars Matt Damon and John Krasinski, and is also written by I was Matt say. Damon. I couldn't find any photos from the movie, so I just got a... Just a, a John a nice, Krasinski A photo. nice them on the red carpet with <laughs> Rosemary DeWitt, who I also like. Yeah, so this is about Matt Damon plays. He represents sort of natural gas, gas. companies who go to these small towns and get the towns to sort of sell their gas rights. And John Krasinski is... An environmentalist. Yeah, he's like an environmentalist who's trying to keep him from doing this sort of thing. And it involves fracking. Yeah. If, any, if you can look up fracking. Yes, not the Battlestar Galactica one. No. But the actual, the actual into environmental the mineral version of yes. it. Yes. <laughs> uh, so that's it. So if yeah. you, you know, I, I would say... It's a real mixed bag. I mean, I think that um, Les Mis and Django Unchained and even The Hobbit are going to continue to dominate the box office. And parental guidance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, next week, we're going to talk about uh, what some of our picks for the best of the year. Best so of the year we're next still, week. We're still in the, in the doldrums, so yeah. we're going to talk about our best of the year. I'll give you a hint. Avengers. We might talk about Avengers. We might. Maybe Les Mis. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs>